especially because it is so competitive towards the middle and top of the bracket here. So it really is do or die. Was unable to get a lead in the series against Dumb One Gaming. I think Dumb One Gaming had a lot of interesting ideas, the Ribbon Jungle, other crazy stuff. If Clint gets going, I think SKT win many, many more games than they lose. Yeah, I would have to imagine so. And uh, on 9.4, I've been really enjoying this. I feel like there are so many contested picks alongside players that SKT. are... That's what they were able to do in the first round, Robin. How are they going to square up here? And to me, the champion pools for Gen G are the most interesting. 9.4 rolls out. First sighting of Gen G on and this. They have played 11 games of Urgot between Faker and Khan. No longer will that be up there. First pick status, I think Jace is the very obvious one, but there's been a lot of Clid Rek'Sai and Soul Defense Q. right now, but of course, Peanut being part of SKT and a big fan favorite here in Korea. It's hard not to tear for both. Even I think it will be, but no, it will be the Alistair that does come in. Obviously, very high tier support left available, that, but that does mean that Galio is not going into the support room. And what does that mean for the Fiora? Very expected it's against the Aatrox, which is an even more winning matchup now after the Aatrox nerfs. There was time when people loved to run the... players we listed before. We'll see how it pans out here for game number one. See him, but he goes all the way around to the bottom this. side. Oh no, Teddy might just go down before he even gets there. As he's alone, Mata will get away, but oh boy. Teddy has to flash up. As they will see him now, it will go the way of Clint. Nice double knockup, but no follow-up from the team. As okay, we're following it here as Galio comes in, but out goes Red Side and in she goes again. Baker. And Baker's in position to do enough damage and follow-up. Road should be going down. Only Mana going to be the sacrifice here for the two for one for SPT. And that was just Genji Baker. The second he does, it was kind of funny. Con. Ooh, nice play there. Predicts that knockup gets the repose stun. On to Kibe Khan, super clean so far on his Fiora mechanics as well. It's Lissandra, he's not gonna die. Sad old there. You can join us for our first series, you haven't seen a lot of Rek'Sai, you know she can do this. From Miles downtown, in goes Clid. Does a lot of damage, especially with the red buff, but. Size of SKT, is he engaged though? Wow, big knock up there on a two, and we do have Peanut, but you can see just how massive they're being. 3v2, it seems like they don't have full information, not willing to go in on that fight. But he's just a solo goal on the best of all. Yeah, look at the timing too, 1347. That's 13 seconds before the plates do go down. That's 320 extra gold. That goes the way, plus another plate due to the tankiness of the Rift Tarot. Just so much extra given over based on the timing. Great macro so far here in this game. Really feels like SKT are playing match, match 9.4 and also the 2019 match. Gen G, they're at their whim. Well, life is caught out there. They have no solo lane disadvantages. They're going to try and teleport and try a team fight. They do not have the Alistair, but they're really trying to make this work. Uh, it's okay. The Rek'Sai comes in and steals it and flashes the wall. Clint putting on the place here looked like a gymnast just flying through the play. Meanwhile, at Fiora, they couldn't even get a response. They're in a damned if you, damned if you don't situation, Gen G. What are they gonna do here? They're trying something. Okay, uh, okay. Mana goes in and dies. I guess that's all I got. If anything else happened, I mean, how can they? They're gonna face check a little bit here. Watch SKT, they're gonna kite back from Oster. They don't want to give away a Drake start, but they need to allow Khan to finally refill his mana, and now they can start to move. Goes back, Lin. Gonna tip away at the wards, as you were mentioning. Try to deny as much vision as possible. Scout what he can see with the Tremor Sense, as you mentioned before. We have a pretty good defensive line with these two control wards around the entrance to their Mistlight Tower. Describe in that particular brush. Means that SKT is showing respect. They're falling back to a lot of their fundamentals and pushing lanes. I see you pointing at Fiora items. Those are big. He got it with one with zero gold. So he got it right at the timing. And speaking of timing, 
Darkness and Infernal Drake on the map right now, and you have Ravenous Hydra and Trinity for yep. Fiora. She might even be team fight ready. Uh, she doesn't yep. even need to be team fight ready. Speaking of team fight, are we gonna have one? Okay, big knock up here from Life will only get mod up from the follow up of the Galio. That's Baker looking for one, but they're gonna go to the right side. Nice flashes away here from Gen T, oh. but Life a little bit too weak as he does have his ultimate run out. Trying to cover the wall or just faking it here is Baker. Just trying to push them away. Gen T. Still don't want to give this one away as now they're going to try to pile on it. Nube before he can world end and down he will go as Rhodes all alone desperately trying to get it. But the snipe comes in and he won't be able to do anything. Three more kills and the Inferno go to SKT. Sometimes in League of Legends you have to fake it till you make it. Fiora is the prototype of these sort of chances. Tiny little bit. Immediately he gets denied there and Baker with a stopwatch at this point says nah. -uh. You can't do anything here, Roach. Even though you are mid lane Galio, you have a bit of damage. You're still not going to kill me. So we get three in the oh, first. Hold on. Hold on. Thing to happen in this game. SKT continues to push forward. Khan is just on top. It's from two level B. Oh, you don't mind. Roland Ender just reposed under turret. There's really no damage that QB can do at this point. He's so far behind. Or but scouts him out. He tries oh, to back no, again, no. and then Khan's like, no, he was on a re Last flash. See you later. He flashed over the base tar uh, base wall. The one yeah. close to the base. He is uh, basically being replaced by a couple of costumes in pretty similar fashion. And in a little bit of trouble here, but SKT still too far ahead. They don't, they don't have enough damage there with Olaf Roach on the Galio. And Shushop Raj also not going to kill him. About 150 damage short. You need quite a lot of damage up there, so going off the item disadvantage is going to matter. Baker takes down another turret. This one is, so it has been played once recently, but it was very situational. Yes. The picks around it, the chess pieces around it, facilitated more than we see here. Here it does feel like a game, I agree with you. It really feels like SKT won. Gift round. A comp that is so strong on night with double lifesteal. You need enough follow-up CC after the initial engage to actually make that happen as Light looking to go down here does have his flash available but here comes Khan over the wall see okay nice knock up actually stays alive for quite a while Khan also taking a bunch of damage here does have pretty ridiculous life steal and is immediately at full health they had to waste his time for a while but actually that was amazing how fast his health came back oh, yeah. absurd he has so much life steal from the build it's very forgiving for SKT. Their mid-game comp is so far ahead. They have four Drakes to a double Infernal at their strongest part. Fiora's in the bot lane. And here we go. A little, you know, base check added to the pile as you kind of have to do something. Lit getting pretty low, but he's going to be able to escape on the match side. Can he be sniped? Oh! In transition! Catches him as Ruler is dying to win a game. But, uh, you know, it's kind of hard. As the flash comes forward, Teddy is going to snipe away that hole off on the backside. And nobody really wants to get close to the Fiora. You mentioned three champions. These weren't the three I mentioned. Definitely a fortunate snipe that time was all on that time. Bad use the borrow. We're seeing a re-engage attempt of Galio, but all looks a bit sad. It's all and a here's Khan. It's all a ruse as Khan coming oh. in behind just three swipes him. Has the healing too. 3v1 and a turret. So far, one person's dead. Well, that's a lot of uh, CC. Is it going to be enough though? Finally it is as a thousand gold will go the way of Aatrox. Not going to matter though as... Well, SKT doing up damage, and they're pushing for the win. The answer was Alistair, Ezreal, Aatrox, and a turret. That was this magic number to take down Fiora. SKT looking for those demolished rocks and looking for the game one victory. Looks like they should do it. It's only Olaf. They're even stopping to get an extra kill as v you know, why not? They, uh, you know, blast a little bit away as well. And they will be able to take this Nexus in the first win here over Gen T. It's just under 30 minutes. Khan dropped Olaf in three losing lanes and get away with it against a good team. And SKT is a very strong team on their day. They take the invitation, say thank you very much, and no surprise. 30 odd minutes later, they walk away with the victory. A straightforward one for SKT. Zipping out of there too, not wasting any time. 
Not sure what there is to talk about about that one. I mean, the draft was pretty pristine. The game, 